Right, so guys, today I'm in a 718 Porsche Boxster S, and this is still one of the best, if not the best, sports cars money can buy. Zero to 60 is about 4.3 seconds. Top speed is 180 miles an hour. And you know what, even in third and fourth gear, plenty of torque. Okay, if you're trying to overtake anybody on the interstate, for starters, you have a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, 350 brake horsepower, which is just the right amount. Right, so a very deep grout. It's a much deeper sound than the previous generation uh, 981 box dress. But like I said, still a very good sound, still a very pleasant sound to hear. with the optional seven speed PDK transmission. Perfectly shaped steering wheel, perfect amount of thickness. There was a bit of controversy when this car came out, uh, putting a four cylinder engine in a car like this. Uh, for valid reason, I mean, four cylinders just simply do not sound as good. But, happy to inform you that for a four cylinder engine, this sounds pretty good. It kinda has that, uh, kind of that deep Subaru WRX kind of sound to it. Uh, take with that what you will. I think it sounds pretty damn good. You can also open and close the valves with this here sport button Or button I should say I pronounce my T's right and you know overall Porsche really excels at making the usable Sports car the everyday sports car or supercar for that matter if you get a turbo s or a GT3 the interior very luxurious right leather everywhere or soft touch rubber torque really comes out deep down lower down in the rev range that makes overtaking incredibly easy visibility very good now, this car has 23,000 miles on it. it does have the typical Porsche seats which are used in pretty much all the Porsche models and they're fantastic seats if you're a skinnier person like I am they hug you very well in the corners the bolsters do a great job of holding you in place Let's test the brakes yeah, they work. It's a very mechanical sounding engine. Um, it's just like inches behind my head. So you can really hear compared to the 911, for example. You can hear it working more and making these mechanical sounds that are very satisfying to hear. I previously drove the last generation Porsche Boxster S, the 981. Jesus, bro. 315 horsepower from correct maybe 325 uh, that car was naturally aspirated straight six so compare these two cars and this is 100% more torque happy it has that that deep down torque that the other car just didn't have you had to kind of wind out the engine with the other car that's yeah, not a complaint the other car sounded fantastic it was a screaming straight six not even like a super loud kind of scream but a very satisfying mechanical scream that you could really hear the engine working its way up this has has a different approach to it it's a deeper sound <laughs> I think it's a good sound. You know, it, it doesn't sound quite as satisfying as the previous generation did, but you know what? You can even put an exhaust on this thing. You know, it's it's a good sounding motor. These cars are incredibly reliable. Yeah, I mean, this is just such a focused experience. A classic focused sports car experience that so many people crave. You can kind of hear the turbo spooling up a little bit. It's not super loud, but you can definitely hear it, and I appreciate it that aspect of it. This car specifically has the headlights and taillights tinted, so it is a fantastic look. Uh, actually looks much like the Porsche Cayman or Boxster GTS, which has the taillights and headlights tinted from the factory. Porsche, they just they just know how to build a car. They, they just, they get it. They know exactly how to make their customers happy and how to out the passion of driving in people. The car 
rides pretty nice. Uh, it's, you know, typical sports car type of suspension. Feels like a, you would expect a sports car to feel. And you're low down, but not too low down, so you won't scrape every time you go over a speed bump. And you even get little little burbles and backfires on the overrun here, so see if you can hear it. You've got a car under 3,000 pounds. Yeah, that little growl, and a little... Yeah, you probably can't hear it. You probably, probably can't really hear it, but it does make popcorn. Yeah, it, it back, you know, it has that Lamborghini Huracan vibe to it, right? It has that, that feature where it'll just, you want to just, just let off? Yeah. I wouldn't get sick of that. Revs to 7,500 RPM. For a four cylinder, this is a pretty rev happy car. I think Porsche wanted to keep that feature. It's that very rev happy, lightweight, feathery feel type of engine, type of throttle response. Just, it's effortless in no time. You know what, this is a tremendous car. Thanks to the four cylinder engine, uh, you get about 30 miles per gallon on the highway. That is very impressive for a car with this much fun factor. Super quick transmission. PDK, like I said, is just one of the best transmissions I think ever made. So the Boxster and Cayman are both fundamentally the same car. The Boxster, of course, has no roof, so it does have the soft top. So I, of course, have the hard top up at the moment for audio purposes. Unlike the iconic 911, the Boxster and Cayman models are mid-engine, so that improves the center of gravity dramatically. The overall balance of the car is much better. This car gets quite a lot of attention, especially in this bright yellow paint, um, black wheels, and red brake calipers. To the average eye, people might just think this is a 911. It's a very good looking car. Uh, I think this is even better looking than the previous generation came in and Boxster. Incredibly fast upshifts and downshifts. Paddles are attached to the wheel itself, not the column. That is a personal preference of certain people. Um, I really don't don't care either way. Uh, if you're tracking the car is when it really kind of makes a difference. Turn in on this car. Of course, you know, the classic Porsche fashion is incredibly sharp. It does have a good amount of feedback and feel for being uh, an electric power steering. If I had to spend fifty to sixty thousand um, dollars on a sports car, on your kind of first sports car, I would choose this. Although with a roof. I just, that's just a personal preference of mine. If you like having the top down, the Boxster is perfect. If you like that sleek look of a hardtop coupe, uh, the Cayman is the way to go. The Cayman does have about 10 more horsepower than the Boxster does stock. It does have two trunks, since the engine is buried deep in the middle, only a few inches behind me, it does have a front trunk as well as a smaller but still pretty usable rear trunk. Uh, so it does make it more practical for everyday use. Sitting in traffic, this is a great place to be. Cruising at 30 miles an hour, got the AC blowing, AC works very nice. 2.5 liters, uh, quite a small unit, but like I said, it's usable power, right? You can have fun with this car and not get pulled over, and that is the key. That's a big reason why people love these cars so much. Besides the fact that the price range is more affordable than a 911, of course, but they're just more usable, right? 911 is slotted now, nowadays, a bit more power, of course, and it's still pretty usable. And even the GT3, you can make that argument, is a pretty usable car in terms of power and speed and performance overall. But this car, if you just want to have fun and not go to prison, buy a Boxster S. I would buy a Cayman personally because I just prefer that that sleek hard top look right yeah you know the handling is just it's perfection okay that is Porsche nails these cars every single time they nail all their cars it's light it's nimble it sounds good for a four-cylinder this is a great sounding four-cylinder it's one of the best sounding four-cylinder motors out there it's quick again 4.3 seconds 0 to 60 is it's not revolutionary it's not going to blow you away but it is fast enough for the street especially down here in Florida where there's cops 
everywhere and some of the worst drivers imaginable. This kind of performance is what you need. You can even argue, you can have more fun in one of these than say a Ferrari 812 or even a McLaren 720S which is ludicrously fast. It is too fast. It's an amazing car, yes, of course, but it's insanely fast. There are certain roads in certain areas where you can, in fact, have more fun in one of these than a supercar five times the price. So, the 718 Porsche Boxster S, worth the money? Uh, absolutely yes. As I said, this is one of the best cars, if not the best, I suppose, first sports car you could buy. It's got good power, good torque, um, and these engines, they can be tuned pretty easily. I've had a, a buddy of mine had a 718 box dress, had an exhaust on it, and the pops that thing made were godly. But overall, I mean, this is one of the best sports cars you can buy for that fifty to $60,000 um, on the used market. Turning radius is pretty good. This car is a rear wheel drive, of course, which means I'm not going to, but if you want, you can get the back end out. Dude, this, is a, this is a small thing that most people probably won't really care about. I really like the way the turn stocks feel in Porsches. They always are just so satisfying to click. They're always so satisfying to press. I don't know why I like that, but for some reason, oh, it's just like satisfying. I don't know. It, it's a good, it's a good sounding turn signal. Okay, so that's a plus. Okay, if you care about that, you gotta buy a box dress. Uh, forget the performance, forget the specifications and the fun. It's all about the turn signal. Yeah, this is a fantastic car. I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, this Porsche Boxster S belongs to a good buddy of mine, Jason. He is actually the founder of the YouTube channel, Dr. No Sleep. Um, they recently blown up on YouTube and I'm extremely happy for them. Go ahead and check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Like this video. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, your thoughts on this car, or the Cayman for that matter, or really anything Porsche related, I just think they make tremendous cars. Really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one.